Good afternoon, Cabarrus County. This is Erin Shu, and I'm here with your COVID-19 update. Today is Monday, April the 6th. Um, our case count of confirmed COVID in Cabarrus County is now 79. So again, uh, 79 confirmed cases. Um, today is also day 27 since our first confirmed case back on March the 11th. So a little point of reflection for us all. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about the essential, non-essential businesses. Uh, thank you to all of our businesses who are complying with both the governor's order and the Cabarrus County proclamation. If you have concerns regarding businesses who are remaining open or perhaps essential businesses who aren't exactly um, utilizing our social distance protocol or cleaning, uh, please reach out to us. We would be more than happy to reach out to them and provide some public health education. The best way to do that is to email us at response at Cabarrus health.org. Our team's been doing that for many days now and so if you're seeing any concerns in your community reach out to us so we can help to provide that education. would like to thank you for staying at home. Um, again stay at home unless you have an essential trip going to the grocery store, going to the pharmacy, those sorts of things. Try to plan your trip so that you're only out once or twice a week instead of having to go every day. So thank you, thank you for staying at home. Uh, the CDC put out recommendations regarding wearing of cloth masks when you're out running those essential errands. CHA also supports those recommendations. So while you're out running your errands, um, you can wear a cloth mask. The CDC has done a really nice job of providing instructions on how to create those at home out of items you very likely have, old t-shirts, bandanas, and those types of things. We're gonna put a link to the CDC site with this video um, so you can easily find that and make a cloth mask. It also provides cleaning guidelines for um, how to clean those safely so then you can reuse them and, and rewear them. Remember, we're not talking about surgical masks or N95 masks. We really need to maintain the supply of those for our healthcare providers and our first responders. So here we're talking about cloth masks that you can make at home. Um, would also like to share with you that we are going to be releasing some new data this week. We hear you, you want to hear more about the cases in terms of recovery. So we are working with uh, two epidemiologists on um, providing that information to you. We want to make sure that information is provided in uh, the best possible way. So we hear you, we hear you want that, so we're going to be providing that to you this week, so stay tuned for that. That is all I have today. I hope you had a good weekend. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Thank you for uh, staying at home, social distancing, or physically distancing, as one of our viewers uh, pointed out yesterday. Um, and just overall, thanks for all you're doing. We know it's an incredibly tough situation, um, but again, we are going to get through this together. So if you need us, reach out, healthinfo at cabarrushealth.org or 704-920-1213. See you tomorrow, Cabarrus County.